Nākamais darba kārtības punkts. Komisijas priekšsēdētāja svietnieka Savienības augstā pārstāvē ārlietās un drošības politikas jautājumos paziņojums problēmas, ar kurām saskaras Moldavas republika. Un es vēlētos atkal dot augstā pārstāvē vārdā vārdu Oliveram Varhalo Igungam. Dear President, Honorable Members of the European Parliament, today's debate is a very timely one as Russia and its proxies are actively working to destabilize the pro-reform government of Moldova. Since the start of Russia's illegal invasion of Ukraine, Moldova has been facing the consequences of Russia's brutal aggression just tens of kilometers away from its borders. It has been confronted with a growing number of challenges such as loss of key markets, soaring inflation, violating of its airspace, and staged protests. Nevertheless, Moldova has shown remarkable solidarity with the refugees fleeing Ukraine. What is happening now? According to the Moldovan authorities, the probability of direct military aggression against Moldova is currently low. Moreover, the facto authorities in the Transnistrian region want to avoid being drawn into Russia's war of aggression, but vigilance is necessary due to the presence of Russian troops and ammunition in the Transnistrian region. Over the last months, there have been increasing Russian attempts to destabilize Moldova with hybrid actions. The president of Moldova, Maya Sandu, has warned about plans to attempt a, challenge, a change of power through violent means. Russia's lies about Ukraine massing troops to attack Moldova's pro-Russian separatist region of Transnistria were swiftly denied by Chisinau. At the same time, high energy prices and high inflation have increased the burden on the population, worsening their living conditions. Russia has used, again, energy supplies as a political weapon, but Moldovan government, with the EU support, has managed to tackle these unprecedented challenges. It is remarkable that despite all the pressures, Moldova, now as an EU candidate country, continues working on reforms that aim to bring the country closer to the EU. And in that regard, on the 2nd of uh, February this year, Commission services provided further policy guidance on EU acquis related reforms in our analytical report. This is to complement our opinion of last year on the country's application for EU membership, to be followed by a comprehensive assessment of Moldova's progress <coughs> in meeting the EU accession criteria later on this year in the autumn. Honorable members, let me stress that Moldova remains on top of the EU's political agenda with our unwavering support to the country's security, territorial integrity and sovereignty. Over the last 12 months, the EU has put together a comprehensive support package worth more than a billion euros to strengthen Moldova's resilience. Moreover, the economic and investment plan for our Eastern partners has a significant potential which needs to be fully tapped to support Moldova's reform agenda. The five flagship initiatives we agreed together aim to unlock 1.6 billion euros of investments for Moldova. We're supporting the modernization of Moldova's defense sector with the support of the European Peace Facility. By providing 47 million euros, we will effectively double Moldova's national defense budget. High Representative Vice President Borrell has proposed to EU member states to maintain a substantial level of financial assistance to Moldova also this year. Additionally, EU experts are supporting Moldova on cybersecurity, addressing hybrid threats, and countering disinformation. The EU also launched a hub to address internal security and border management challenges. And we are looking at further ways to support Moldova. High Representative Vice President Borrell is taking forward the work on preparing a possible EU civilian CSDP mission 
to further strengthen Moldova's security and resilience. The deployment of such a mission would provide yet another important political signal of EU support in the current difficult circumstances. The Commission and the EAS services, together with the Member States, are also exploring possible new sanctions regime targeting individuals who seek to destabilize this country. Despite all the challenges that Moldova is facing, in June it will host the second summit of the European political community. I want to reassure you that the EU stands in solidarity with the people of Moldova, even in these challenging times. And the future of Moldova and its citizens is within the European Union. Thank you.